It's now been about four years since I dropped Adobe and moved on to alternatives, and I've been loving it, but there has always been just one thing that's felt like it's been missing from my alternatives, and that is a good alternative for motion graphics like After Effects, and I just haven't been able to find anything that just really scratches that itch lately. However, thanks to my viewers, I received a lot of comments on my videos about people recommending a new program to me. And that program is Cavalry, a free alternative for After Effects. So in this video, I tried out Cavalry to see how it compares to After Effects. Now I want to mention that Cavalry is not sponsoring this video. This is genuinely my thoughts after trying it after my viewers recommended it to me. So let's start with what sets Cavalry apart from After Effects. While After Effects is meant to be a compositor with animation tools, Calvary is almost the opposite of that. It is an animation-focused tool with compositing elements. Now this really shines through in the fact that Calvary really focuses on automation. So take for example a bar graph that you would have to make. In After Effects, you would have to go through and create each bar, set the values manually, and make any sort of changes you want to to each one individually. But in Calvary, all you have to do is set up what you want one bar to look like, and then the rest is pretty much covered for you. And for the data that you're using in your bar graph, you can actually hook up a spreadsheet to drive that data. In fact, if you have the pro version, you can link Google Sheets in there, and it will update in real time as you make changes to the spreadsheet. Imagine making an infographic for a client, and the only thing you have to do when the client makes changes to the data is just to refresh everything, and it will update your infographic automatically. Now, along with this philosophy of automation, there are many other tools like duplicators, oscillators, daggers, and so many more. Beyond those, you have tools like character rigging and timeline scheduling. The overall workflow in Cavalry is pretty simplified once you get the hang of it. For example, let's say you wanted to create a simple text animation like this. In something like Fusion or After Effects, you would have to go in and create the text, get it how you like it, keyframe the opacity and then the position, and then go into the keyframes and ease them until you get something that you like. And this process can take a while, especially if you have to do a lot of text with a lot of different words. Now contrast this with how you do it in Cavalry, where you just essentially make a text layer and get it how you want it, and then all you have to do is add an auto animator deformer, and now your entire animation is just being driven by the progress keyframes. You can adjust the position of where you want the animation to start, and if you want to use levels to animate from words or characters, then you can change the keyframe easing by entering it in manually, or you can select from a ton of their pre-made presets. It's just so much easier and faster to animate text like this. Now, of course, because this is a very specialized tool, if you're looking for anything outside of 2D animation, you may struggle with that in Cavalry. You really don't have much in terms of 3D or even 2.5D animation, even with the Pro Tools. From my experience, it is very much focused on motion graphics and is far less suited for complex compositing like you might expect in After Effects. As I mentioned though, it is completely free. There is a pro version that costs £16 or about $21 per month that comes with extra features like Forge Dynamics for physics-based animation, particle systems, and the ability to link Google Sheets like I mentioned earlier. You can see all the differences on their website. So for the short time that I have been using Calvary, I know I'm only touching on some of the capabilities of it. When I first tried it out, I remember thinking, oh, this is just a rearranged After Effects UI. So it already felt very familiar, and working it in layers just makes a lot more sense to my brain than making graphics in the node-based fusion. So I started to learn how to use it through tutorials on Calvary's YouTube and by watching some other tutorials. I was at first a little overwhelmed because it all looked very familiar except the way that they do everything is very different with all the automation tools. So I felt a bit overwhelmed by the sheer amount of possibilities. But by the time I followed along with a few different simple projects, I started to understand it. The way I like to describe the workflow is it's like you're using the pick whip from After Effects, but if that pick whip could grab just about anything. <laughs> also in the process of my learning, there's a lot of demo scenes that you can check out inside the program. And there's also scenery.io for projects that the community has uploaded there. And let me just say, there are a ton of pretty cool things on there. Most of them are even licensed under Creative Commons, so you can use them in your finished product. For me, I mostly do text animations, which is what I tried learning most. And for doing simple animations on screen like this, 
And for doing other ones that you might see on TikTok like this, you can do these pretty quickly in Calvary just by animating a single keyframe group. It really just feels like the devs put in a lot of work on making animations feel as easy as possible, which I really appreciate. I will say, however, that because Calvary has a much smaller community over something like After Effects or even Fusion, there are a lot fewer people doing tutorials and showcasing exactly what Calvary is really capable of. For other software, I never usually have to dig into the documentation, but I did for Calvary. Of course, I do think this will change as Calvary gets more traction and becomes more popular, but for right now, just know that if you're trying to learn it, it may take some extra time and you may have to look around a bit more for support. I think for me, there's gonna be a lot of trial and error and checking the documentation as I continue on with new projects. Like I mentioned, it kind of feels like they set out to make this one software that does one thing, but it does it very well. And I think they nailed that aspect. Now, some may say that this means it's limiting, but if you're like me and you just felt like you were missing some sort of 2D motion graphics software from After Effects or something like that, then this is great. Of course, it's free too, which is a massive plus. For everything I tried, I never felt like there was something that was missing or that was locked behind the pro version. I think the pro version has some nice extra features for those who need it, but I don't really see myself really needing any of the pro features so far. I do highly recommend you check out Calvary if you've been looking for an alternative for After Effects for animation. Just download the free version and try out some tutorials and the demo scenes and see what you like. I seriously can't wait to see what happens when we get a handful of highly skilled professionals using Calvary. So go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. But that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.